Hey, what's good, YouTube? We'll send a special shout out to the uh, masculine and madam mercenaries. Much love to you guys. We'll say uh, what's good to all the uh, four progressive men and women who are looking to make a difference, uh, not just online but off. And this message today is brought to you by A Game, a male herbal solution that helps with your energy, vitality, libido, and strength. Which today is my A Game day obviously so just before i get into the gym it's been an hour or so uh, i want to chop it up with you guys and i have a message for the brothers especially now that you know my channel is more geared to us and the full progression of us on and offline and i want to hear the brothers i want the brothers to hear what i'm saying today in that we literally have to fuck the shit out of our purpose. See, naturally, I, I am an artist. I draw. I can do well at graphic design and other means of art. Um, I'm getting into podcasting. There's a lot of things that I'm learning about myself now that I've learned how to not just pay myself for it, but to invest my time and energy into understanding what I'm meant to be. And in many ways in this society, we're taught or programmed to be these uh, mules of uh, misinformation and inconvenience, especially to ourselves. And I'm here to tell you guys, it's my personal opinion, I'm pretty sure it's shared, that that time is over. You see, we got to get into the habit of seeing about us whether it's uh, our spiritual, health, dwelling, a myriad of the 10 values that we have to institute within ourselves and put them into practice. Now, personally, I've allowed individuals to um, break my relationship with my purpose at one time. And from personal experience, that is the most trying, the most stressful, the most damn near spiritually destructive thing that you can allow to happen. But as men, since we're supposed to be accountable and we're supposed to be a myriad of other things, especially uh, the main opposers of environment, this is where we start gaining ground back and it starts with them. Now, personally, I had to take some interpersonal um, sabbaticals because I had a whole lot of things to purge, not just within myself, but around myself. So I want to lead by example, by letting us get into the knit and the grit of our shit and taking back what is rightfully ours. I know what it's like to be broken. I know what it's like to be homeless. I know what it's like to lose everything but your mind. But internally, you were meant to be resilient, to be a rebel, especially in the presence of fuckery. Now, granted, I'm not looking to sugarcoat anything in this message because I literally have the scars to prove that I'm here for not just one purpose, but many to make a difference. Now, I know in this environment, you keep hearing things about if you're broke, you're this, you're dusty, you're whatnot. And personally, I want to say you need to extend a middle finger to that. Matter of fact, as soon as you dust yourself off, you can give him your ass to kiss. Because this is the time where we stand and fight back. We don't have to do it just physically. It starts with here and here. And that's what I'm doing personally. You see, right now I'm parked outside my gym where I'm getting back, not just my uh, vitality, my energy. I'm, I'm, I'm aiming to re-sculpt my life, not just physically, but in all the areas and means that I need to. As men, you need to realize all of us are artists. You have your respective canvas or your medium to express your creativity and your expression of life and perceptions. So I'm extending it all to you. You might have 50 cents in your pocket you might not be in the place that you need to be. But see, this is the time where you start using your foresight and all your 
God-given gifts as men to reclaim not just yourself, but everything that you aspire to gain. So while this great separation is needed in this day and age, this is where the men lead the insurrection to all this goofiness. So I'll, I want to say salute to all you men who are looking to embed yourselves because this isn't me being some bootleg life coach and all that nonsense. This is us getting back into order because we're done playing around. Now there's so many brothers that I learned from and I appreciate and have helped me to get better. But the most important relationship that you need starts here. That's a lesson I had to learn. But more importantly, as I said, you need to get back and fuck the shit out of your purpose. If you're an artist, if you're a musician, if you're a statistician, or whatever, be the best one possible. You see, make your passion bring the money and great things to you. See, those days of panhandling for pussy is over. So, we're going to have some more in-depth conversations, but do understand, fellas. Grab your shield and your swords. And we're going to march the city and take that motherfucker back. So, more on this later. But, fellas, you let me know in the comment section. Like, click, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so we can have more of these discussions. And I do read these. And um, if you have a co comment or question that you need to ask personally or have a discussion, you can hit me up at uh, genuinearticle75 at gmail.com. Because uh, all of us are a work in progress. And in the pursuit of brotherhood, we're going to work together and make this thing happen. So as always... Never allow your comfort zone to become your coffin. Peace.